This is the TacWise KDH90V. This is a pneumatic nailer that can fire from 50mm to 90mm nails. This is what is known as a framing nailer. You do need a compressor and compressed air for this machine to work. These machines are very reliable, they are very lightweight and they are designed to fire in thousands of nails every day. If you ever go to companies that make pallets or wooden buildings, these are the kinds of machines that they use on a daily basis. So the machine is very lightweight and easy to use. It has two modes of operation. You have the multiple firing there, which means you can keep the finger on the trigger and bounce it and it will fire a nail in every time. Or you can flick that across, you can have it on single use. I'm not going to make a pallet, so I will demonstrate how to use the single use feature. Before you use a machine like this you do need to have it connected to a clean air supply and it does need to have a trap on to collect any of the moisture in the air line. If you let the water run through the machine for too long you will damage the internal components. You actually get a bottle of oil with this. So if we just pull that part out we can then put that on and that will enable you to add a couple of drops of oil to the inside of there, you simply cut the end off the bottle you can then add a few drops of oil down that hole and that will actually oil the components inside of the machine what I prefer to do is fit an inline oiler so I'm not going to do that we can then simply remove that screw We can then place the oil directly into the oiler. And then we can replace the screw. You can adjust the depth to which the nails are sunk by adjusting that knob there. So if you turn it fully to the right it will sink it in further. Turn it the opposite way and it will not sink it in as far. To load the machine, it's best if you disconnect it from the air supply first. That means that there is now no air inside of the machine, so there's no danger at all of that firing. And I'm going to take some of the nails and push them in the slot at the back until they go down to that end. You then need to press in that metal tab and pull that part of the magazine back and let go of it. And that will force the nails down to the firing end of the machine. We can now reconnect the air supply. I'll now demonstrate the machine using the 90mm nails on the single fire. So you simply press down on the end of the machine and pull the trigger and that will fire in a nail. Or you can switch it to the multi-firing mode which means that you can fire it continuously. I've now switched to some smaller nails to demonstrate the rapid firing mode. So I'm going to keep my finger on the trigger and every time we bounce the machine down it will fire a nail. So you can see that that is incredibly quick. So if you're in the business of making things such as pallets or wooden buildings a machine like this would come in very handy. Like I said these machines are very reliable they are very powerful and for professional users these are ideal. In order to test out the gun to its full potential I've taken it into a local firm. I'm now at Lancashire Summer Houses who have been making garden buildings and garden offices for the last 30 years. I'll put a link in the description to their website. They do actually supply and install wooden buildings and garden offices all over the UK. You can see that Russell is really using the gun to its full potential and that it's firing in nails extremely quickly.
So if you're looking for a pneumatic angled nailer, this machine is definitely up to the job. I'd like to thank you for watching this video, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel.